Stuff. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Classy Cooking with Chef Steph. Today we're going to be making my version of chili. What's the point of cooking if you're not creative, right? I used some interesting ingredients to make my chili, so let's look at what they are. Here are three pounds of beef, enough to make leftovers. To season the beef, we have a little mixture here of a teaspoon of salt and pepper, a teaspoon of chili powder, and a teaspoon of curry powder. These are three zucchinis already cut up. Weird, I know, but it's delicious. One yellow onion already cut up. This is a can of crushed tomatoes with basil, garlic, and oregano already in the can. Bam, that's awesome. Black beans, dark red kidney beans, and beef broth. The first thing you want to do is put a little olive oil in the bottom of your pot. Throw the onions in. Cook them until they're opaque. And then you can add the beef. For the new chefs, this is what it means for your onions to be opaque. They smell a little sweet and they get a little glossy and see-through. Now we can add the beef. Throw in both packages. And mash it all up so it evenly cooks. Once you've mashed it up with your spoon and it's not all in one piece anymore, you can season your beef. This is the most important part. If you don't season the beef, it gets very bland in your chili. Chili. While that's cooking, don't forget to drain your beans. You can either put it in a colander, or you can be lazy like me and only open it up a little bit and then pour out the juices. Back to your meat that's cooking over here. You can see that some of it is still a little pink. But that's okay because it's going to cook for a while in the pot anyway, so they'll all be brown by the time you're eating it. Now you have to drain out the fat because there's some fat here from the meat. So let's drain it in the sink. I know it's unfortunate to dirty something, but this time you should use a colander. Now your meat is back in the pan with a lot less fat in it. Now's the easy part. Pour everything in. Beef broth. Crushed tomatoes the whole can. Mix it all around. After you're done mixing that, zucchini. Alright, we just put the zucchini in. We're gonna mix it around. Now notice we haven't put the beans in yet. What we're gonna do is leave this covered on medium-high heat. If you don't have a cover for your pot, just use tin foil. Once it boils, then we're gonna put it back down to simmer, and then you can add the beans, because I noticed that if you boil it with the beans in it, the beans get choppy and mushy, and then they're not a whole bean anymore. So I do it after it's already been boiled. And then the best part about this recipe is you can leave it on simmer for mm, seven hours if you really want to. If you're home in the morning and wanna make this and have it ready for dinner later, it works out. Or you can just put the beans in, cook it for five minutes, and then eat it. Our pot is now boiling, and we can see that a lot of the liquid has boiled down. Time to put the beans in. Mix it around and let it simmer for a few hours. The longer you leave it simmering, the better flavors will mesh in together and it will be even more delicious. So here you have it, Chef Steph style of chili. You can add some cheddar cheese to the top and a dollop of sour cream, or you can be a little healthier and use some Greek plain yogurt. I swear it tastes the same. I wouldn't lie about food. Now, I have a challenge for each and every one of you. I can't come up with the name of my creation, so if you can come up with a totally awesome name that I absolutely love, I will reward you. Are you ready for this? It's awesome. I will let you pick what ingredient I have to use on my next meal. Okay, now, you obviously can't pick an ingredient that's not food. I'm not going to put dirt in my dinner. So, come up with an awesome name and you'll be highly rewarded. Have a good week. I'll talk to you later. Keep it classy. Turn it up. <laughs>